All right, I have Lightroom open, and I'm going to turn on my camera, which is attached to my Mac computer, and that's how I tether it. That's what's called tethering. I'm going to click the on switch. Did you hear that? And uh, that should be showing up in Lightroom pretty soon. There we go. Popped open. You might see this version when you open it up in Lightroom. Just click the little down arrow right here and you'll see this version. So the from the D800, I have a Nikon D800, and I'm going to copy to the HD drive. If you click over here, you can figure out where you want to do it. You can click on desktop, pictures, movies, and then you can do that kind of, you know. So um, I want to uncheck all. I just want to check these, the ones that I just took photos of, to show you my process on doing a product shot. Uh, this isn't, you know, my total process. I might do a lot more than this. But for now, natural lighting and a foam board is what I did. So I'm going to click on import over here. I check the ones that I want. Click import. I don't have a... Um, a free Nikon like uh, Canon does for Mac. I don't, you don't have that for Nikon for Mac. I'd have to pay, so I use Lightroom. All right, so these pop up on your desktop in a folder over here. I think this is it. I'm not sure. Let me open it up 2018. And then inside that, there's a folder with all these NEFs. That's what I want. I'm going to close the Lightroom for now and then just going to click on here and press the space bar and I'm going to filter through these images and see which ones I like, which ones I don't. This one had the ISO was too low um was too high so uh, I was getting too much brightness. And then I brought the ISO back to 100 and then I had to make the shutter speed slower so I can get some light into the camera. And I was happy with that lighting. But then, as you can tell, the image of the cup here is dark because the light is coming in through the back here and it's making it silhouetted. So, what you have to do is use a white foam board. See right here, I don't know if you can see it or not, there's a, like a kind of a grayish light right here and a darkness. This is the foam board and I'm going to come down here and show you what the foam board looks like. Here's a photo of the foam board in the room. It's pretty big. See how big that thing is? And this reflects the light from the sun coming in through the window, bounces off of this and hits the cup. So this is what we're looking to get. That's my last shot without the foam without the reflector and this is my last shot with the reflector so which one do you like better right you like the one with the reflector right And you still have the nice uh, colors in the background back here and then I did different shots different angles figuring out which way looks best but I think that last shot I did was my best one and like I say Always go towards the end of your shoot to find the best shot. And the best shot was my 4130, I think. Let me see what the last one was. Yes, 4130. So I'm going to open that one up. Double click on it, and it opens up a camera raw. And we can play with it in here if we wanted to. We can click on auto to see what camera raw would do. And I do not like the look of that at all. That looks like a, a, a rainy day. Click on default on what I uh, what I had. I'm really digging this. The only thing that I'm not digging is the cup is um, at an angle. And so are the chairs. They all look like it's going on an angle. So I'm going to have to crop it down a little bit. But I wanted, I'm want i glad I have the, the, uh, the uh, handle in there. And I got a little bird in here looking at the cup. And you can see I had a really, really low, low f-stop because the background is blurry and the cup is nice and clean and clear. What I can do is take the clarity up a little bit and see what happens when I make everything really, really sharp. So it darkened stuff, didn't it? I'm going to bring the clarity back down again. 
You know what I might do is let me put it back to zero. And I'm going to show you a trick. Click open image and that's going to open up in Photoshop. I'm going to zoom out. And I'm going to open it up again. Double click on the NEF and it opens up in Camera Raw. I'm going to bring this to clarity now just a little bit. Let's see what happens. Click OK, open image. And I'm going to get the move tool in Photoshop and I want to drag this image and drop it into this one. Pressing the shift key, it puts it right in the middle. What it looks like and what it looks like now. Okay, so I don't know. I might, I don't know. It's the the juxtaposition of the gnarly looking photo of the logo on the cup and the beautiful bird in the background that's beautiful. You know, it's there's a juxtaposition there. And also I like how soft the wood is here, but I don't like how soft the wood is kind of grainy and nasty in this one. So I might use this one by doing this. I'll put a mask on this one. And that's a little uh, square here with a circle in it. And I'm going to fill it with black. So edit, fill, black, click OK. And this image is now, you can't see it. So what you can do is with that mask, take the soft round brush and use white foreground. White reveals and black conceals on a mask. So wherever I paint white on the picture, is where that picture comes back. If I turn that one off, turn the bottom layer off, you'll see that that picture came back. And if I press X to get the black and paint with black, the black takes away the image. And then X white brings it back, okay? So I'm gonna turn it off for now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use the white and I'm gonna click right in here with a the cup is. So that's what I want to do right there, United Forces. So it's up to you. You know, you are the artist. What is your intent? That might be a little too much. I might bring the opacity down to 50%. Yeah, I'm digging that right there. That's cool. All right. So now <clears throat> the only thing we have to think about is the the uh the skewing of the photo so let's see the cup there we go i'm gonna put the cup like that and i'm gonna put these are guidelines if you do a command r you'll get the rulers and get the move tool and you can move click on the ruler and bring the guide out to see so we know that the the chair is off a little bit it's the chair is not gonna be straight anyway it's kind of angled anyway but let's focus on the cup I'm going to take both these layers and I'm going to duplicate them by pressing uh, right click and duplicate layers. I could do it with uh, shortcut keys, but I want you guys to see what I'm doing. And take that and do a command T to transform. And then we're going to drag. You can see me dragging it on the outside. I'm going to drag it to the left a little bit. Let's see. There we go. Let's press enter and now I'm going to take my guys on the top drag it down that's straight these are straight that's why we use guides in photography to see if things are straight or not that looks a lot better command H hides the guides and then we can turn this off these two layers off so we can see what it originally looked like turn it back on again <coughs> I am not liking, I mean, I like it, but it's a little too far. And let's bring it to the right just a little bit. So sometimes it's not up to the guides. It's up to your eyes. What feels good? All right, I'm going to put on the guides. Let's see what the guides look like. Let's turn these two off and see what before, after. I'm really liking that one. That's going on my Instagram. After... Coming back to this about an hour later, looking at this image, I like to look at them small to see the whole thing. Um, I feel like it's still a little too dark. It might be still dreary. So 
let's put a curves filter on it. Let's bring the brightness back there. There we go. I'm liking that now. There we go. I want to have that light feel in there, that nice airy light feel. But I also want to put maybe a color filter on it, a photo filter, to give it that, um, you know, sunny feel. Because even though it was a sunny day I took this photo, it doesn't look sunny. I don't know. To me, it doesn't feel like it's sunny. So um, I can click on the filters here, warming filter, play around with that. Cooling filter. No, I don't want to kill the cooling one. I want yellow. Let's see what yellow does. Hmm, that's interesting. You can play around with these colors. Have some fun. Magenta. Oh my god, sepia. There we go. That might be it. Sepia. Look at that. Sepia. Oh, yeah. All right, so I think I'm going to go with that one. It's been a day since I made that other the part of the video. And I was looking at the image more um, like that. I keep looking at the image and trying to think about what can make it better. And um, I was like, one more time. I'm going to do one more filter. So I did a deep yellow. And then I put a little mask on it a little bit here. And you'll see that there's a little bit of yellow on the top up here, like the sun shining in. I like that. And then I uploaded it to Instagram. So here's what the final product looked like on Instagram. All right, so we'll see if anybody likes it. <laughs> All right, guys. Hope this helped.